Speaking of people who rap. Nasty Nas. Nasty Nas, the S go to Escobar. Now he is not straight Thomas. Remember when he did that? Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. He let us know all his names. <laughs> all his names. I was pretty obsessed with Nas during that time. Ah. I had well, on my wall and everything. Holler. So Nas is 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 doing some some TV. Nas is getting involved in some TV. Yes, he is. <laughs> um. So he's teaming up with the executive producer of Power. Actually, I believe his name is. <laughs> I'm cheating. Mark Canton. <laughs> Hey, nothing wrong with having notes. <laughs> a lot of podcasters come out and just pull things out their ass and just say anything. Yeah. So better to have notes than just be like, oh, yeah, he's, uh, he's teaming up with uh, what, the yeah. Dennis Rodman. Yeah. yeah, Dennis Rodman. He's teaming up with Dennis Rodman. Like, what? No, he's yeah. not. What are you talking about? Much mm -hmm. better to have notes and facts. You're right. Um, so they're going to be working together on an eight episode series um, to highlight the uh, the road to the U.S. Chess Hall of Fame for, I'm trying to get it right, the first, the first black chess grandmaster. His yes. name is Maurice Ashley. So two first names. Two first names. And one is Ricky Bobby. Neutral. <laughs> Rick, <laughs> Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby is a good one. A good one, yep. That's what made me think about. They say that in the movie. Oh, see, you think about that. And I think about a movie that Monica was in that at this time I cannot remember. It was, you, I don't know if you remember when MTV used to make movies for, they, they used to make made for TV movies on MTV. And, I don't think so. And there was this movie featuring Monica. Uh, she was the star of the movie. And it was about like her dating this guy or whatever. I can't remember the, the full story. I just remember he was a white man. And they <laughs> <laughs> and they um oh. one of the conversations that she had with her friends was about how her mom or her grandma Always used to tell her, never trust a man with two first names. Ah, okay. Yeah, so I always remember that. I'm always well, like, then she can't, she can't trust Ricky Bobby. No. No? Mm -mm. But I wouldn't trust him either, because he was running around saying, if you ain't first, you're last, so. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, well, there's that. Right. But anyway, this is not about <laughs> them. This is about Maurice Ashley. Mm -hmm. And what Nas is doing to highlight him. Uh, that's really cool. Uh, I'm anxious to hear more about it. See how this goes. Yeah. Uh, I like that Nas is doing this. And this is right up Nas Alley to be, to be highlighting a black icon, a black mm -hmm. historian. This is the same guy who decided on his own to do a audio version of a biography of Rakim. So, yeah. you know, I... I mean, this ain't far from it. You know, Nas likes to do this kind of stuff and kick knowledge, you know? Yeah. As he, as he once was accused of, you know? What you trying to kick knowledge? <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Nas likes to kick knowledge. Right. Come on. Got to gotta pull a quote out sometimes, you know? Uh -huh, sometimes you got... You, you, I just got to be honest. Excuse me. What's this? Ah, a quote. Do we need another one? I got another No? Another one. Yep. Another, another one? Uh. <laughs> so, this is exciting. I, yeah, I also I, like that it's... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. You first. Oh, no. I was going to say, I mean, I think uh, there's no secret. I, I love... Um, I love biographical content, so I was going to watch it even if it wasn't Nas. <laughs> but um, plus if it's biographical content about Black people. But I think this is interesting. I don't know a whole lot about chess. Um, I mean, I know enough, but I probably can't sit across from someone and like 
really, really play. But I think this is really cool. Um, I feel like a lot of times when chess is highlighted, chess masters are highlighted, they're usually not black men. So I think this is a really cool story and would love to know how he got there because it does right. seem like something that's uncommon. Probably more yes. common than I know, but um does seem like something that we don't really talk about a whole lot. So Right. That's true. Pretty cool. And good for Nas, because I mean, diversify your portfolio. Why not? He's been he's been doing a lot of that the last mm-hmm. ten years. Yeah. One I was gonna about- say oh no, you, go ahead. you go ahead. I was gonna say something silly. Go go ahead. Oh. No, I was going to say one one thing um, that I like also. Another thing I like is that this is a short series. You know, Nas, Nas is giving us Nas and the gentleman from Power. They, they teamed up to do a short series, uh, not, you know, 21 episodes or something. So, yeah. you know, I, I am not a fan of long TV shows, but a limited series, I could get into a limited series. You know what I'm saying? Because eight episodes, I could do that, you know? Me too, but then sometimes I want more. Because you really like TV. I guess so. Sometimes yeah. I want a little bit more. I don't think it's necessarily about liking TV so much as if if I like the story or I feel like the story was unfinished or they stop at a certain point in the story, right? Because sometimes though they won't give you everything that happened, especially if it is biographical. Sometimes they'll stop at a certain point and then you're like, well, wait. There's about 20 years you didn't tell me about, or there's about five years here that you could have told me. Don't, I don't want words at the end of the episode that say, <laughs> that say, that um, are you good? Yeah, that was funny. Sorry. Yeah, I don't want words at the end of the episode that are like, here's what happened the next 10 years after that. No, don't give me like two more episodes. Right. That's my frustration. Why the hell are you telling me? You know, in in a three three sentence paragraph, what happened? Because they the budget ran out. <laughs> Clearly, because <laughs> I mean, like, why was I here if this is where it was going to end? I don't. And this, it's the mission like, was accomplished. You know what I'm saying? And you ever get in a, an Uber and and they and they drop you off like a block away from where you're supposed to go? Yes. That's what yes, that I feels think. like. I think we've you all didn't been get there yet. But but just like that Uber ride, you got to get out. I know, but we didn't get there yet. It's exactly what I would have said. <laughs> because w- why didn't we get there? That's the question. I don't. You got it. I understand. I felt like that watching Bob Marley, but I said that already. So you did. You did. You have strong feelings about Bob Marley, and I understand. <laughs> 